All right, what is up, everyone? And it's another throwback thirst game. So, for today's episode, we are going to go back to the deck that we built. Let me show you the deck. So, it is the um, quest for the Holy Relic Mono White Argentum Armor deck. And, um, well, We've kind of discussed this deck already, so you may want to check that previous episode that we did. For now, we're going to go straight to the games. So we are going to try in the modern tournament practice only. Uh, we can't... Uh, okay, here you go. Alright, we can't risk it in, in the modern league. At least not yet. But I'm excited. It's been a while since I last seen this deck. Alright. So, so far so good. We got the quest, turn one. We also got signal pest, turn one. We have the aviary, and oh, this looks good. Yeah, let's keep it. And uh, let's start. This looks good. This may be one of those uh, explosive. Hopefully, we don't get interrupted by our opponent, but this looks good. Well, aside from my opponents thinking about it, but... <laughs> oh, he also did Mulligan to 6, alright. Infect? Or... Oh, let's see. Well then, if that is the case, then we have to rush this, right? gonna go fetch a planes, don't worry, we're just fetching the planes. I just hope my opponent moves a little more quicker because he is thinking about me trying to fetch. What is he thinking about? Okay. Alright, so first order of business. Let's cast a quest for the holy relic. Probably in fact. Yep. Alright. Sure. I can't do anything about that. Well, he's probably going to hit me with a pump spell next turn. The problem is, I can't do anything about it anyway. This takes another turn. Yeah. Alright. Well, well, let's just hope that we survive next turn. Well, the thing is about Here's where the fun begins. <clears throat> so he's gonna pump it, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now it's gonna hurt. Yeah. The good news is I have Field of Ruins in my hand. So that means. If I survive this, I can destroy that. Nope, no blockers. The bad news is, I can't go on with my plan.
Oh, or, or we can path. But no, no, we're not gonna path. Because he may have some kind of, um, like the protection spell thing. So we're not gonna let it turn, we're not gonna let him turn it into a creature. We can let him try, but we're not gonna let him turn it into a creature because that's a bigger problem. So as soon as he try or attempt to uh, activate Ink Nexus and turn it into a creature, then we'll uh, activate our Field of Ruins. I'm a little bit worried about, because I, even though, yes, I do have a path to exile, I'm a little bit worried about that spell. I, I just can't remember the name of the card, but there's that spell that protects him from, from the color he chose, something like that, or like it turns his... I just can't remember, but yeah, it's, it has something to do with protecting his creatures. Now he's trying to cast something, but I don't even know what that is because he's, oh, can't be blob. Yep, I'm okay with that. Yes, cast it. Now, the good news is we can, at the end of his turn, we can do two things. We can destroy the Ikmoth Nexus now, in path or no no because if we path no yeah um we will path first because if i give him an open land i may, he may be able to protect the blight blight agent and i don't want to do that and also Let's cast this now. Well, let's, at least we were able to do two things. We're gonna cast it, bounce uh, our signal pest. another path which is good but what we wanted to do really is to uh, destroy that ink month which I may be able to do that now can't I now let's just go ahead and attack first your opponent's giving me so much time to think by the way Quest. 
Well, what do we do? We cast. We cast a quest. And then we attack. Yeah, we attack. You know, he either has to block it or ignore it. If he's confident with his, with, with uh, what the what he has in his hands, then he can just ignore it. So what is he? What did he decided to do? Oh, he ignored it. All right. Well, we'll move on to our plan. thing about casting that is I can kill that now if I want but quest also is down to its last counter yeah all right now how much damage What should we do next? Should we go with the with the fun part? Sure. Let's attack first. When a quick creature attacks, wow. So I can destroy something right away. Let's destroy the blight. something that pumps it. He can pump it and protect it, something like that, but he has no protection from the signal. Oh, he doesn't. All right. Not going to take it. It's nine damage, my friend.
this is a little bit a little bit of both on both ends like a throwback because you don't see a lot of infect decks anymore either in the modern scene this is like five six years ago when you've seen both of them okay so you're gonna pump it huh well let me tell you something Oh shoot, I forgot to cast my aviary mechanic. I should have, I should have cast it already. Yay, there you go. Not, not as if it mattered, but it may have, <laughs> since it's in fact. So, we need settle here, and we have to uh, lessen our Argentum armor, but settle the wreckage is something yeah also celestial flare is really good because it allows us to make him sacrifice his creatures revoke existence doesn't hit anything um tiny no purge red and so no, it's not going to hit anything either. Uh, so I guess... That's it. Now let's do it. I mean, in a way, we don't want to take out a, a lot of cards in our deck. Because we want to stay true to what our game plan is as much as possible. Oh. This doesn't look good. But, alright, here's the thing. This is a very enticing kind of hand. I, I would want to keep it because I have I have quest two. I have signal past. I have aviary. I have squadron. I only need to draw one land and then I'm good. So let's keep it. The only problem is my opponent is in fact so he can he can actually kill me right away. Okay, now I got my second land. Alright. So I guess the game plan here is to keep on putting a body in front of that Glessner elf so that and you know we survive. Because he's gonna pump it. Oh shoot. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna take six poison damage here. What do we need to get? A uh, path to exile should be a really good draw. Especially now that he is kind of uh, tapped out. He can't use a noble yet. Still has summoning sickness, so... Yeah, path would be a really good draw. And no, we're not gonna get that. So we will... We'll get all of them. So we can put that in front of the Glistener Elf.
a path to exile really quick. Like, like, really quick. Now that I've thought about it, I shouldn't have kept that hand. Knowing that I, knowing what my opponent is, knowing that I don't have path, opening hand. Yeah, I shouldn't have kept that. But anyway, that's that. Just that I'd really prefer getting a path. Now we only are casting creatures now as blockers. However, So my opponent will decide, will definitely decide to cast one pump, one pump spell on one of them. And if the pump spell happens to be plus four, then I'm basically dead. But we will be moving on to game three, which is really nice. any of my sideboard cards. Alright, there you go. So we've got three creatures. I can pretty much block two of them, I think. But I won't be able to block the bli Blighted Agent. Yeah. Let's see. I'm probably dead anyway, but might as well play it till the end. Unless I survive this. I may actually survive this. Alright. Now, now is really the, the best time for me to draw. Oh my god. survive this because I can't block the uh, blighted angel a blighted agent I can cast two squadron hawks but they're not going to attack aviary does it say only your creature you control yeah not good enough yep let's move on to game three At least this time, I'm going to play first. Now here's the problem with this opening hand. Let's look at that. No, this is much worse. Alright, well, we got something. Let's keep that. And... Uh, I guess hide one of them. Um, AVM, I guess. Yeah, all right. I 
really wish I didn't have to mulligan. us enough time. Alright, so we will be able to cast our squadron home and we will find two and we will pass the turn. Well, since my opponent is not casting anything, that's giving us a lot of time to build our... Ooh, yeah. We'll uh, start attacking him. We'll build an army here. I don't have the quest. So that's a little sad. Especially that I have a lot of things going on in here. if we happen to have at least one quest for the holy relic well we got two white men and an aviary which will allow us to put almost I mean put five counters on it right away well my opponent is still not casting anything which is really amazing Yeah, there you go. What is that? What is my opponent even doing? <laughs> Fine. Don't cast anything. Alright, there you go. He's not going to block it, I think, because he's not going to waste his pump spell while blocking, so yeah. However, I think I am kind of um, ready for that. I have sacrifice target attacking target player, so I don't, I'm not targeting the creature, which is good. Alright, sure. You know what's scary about this? Is he has an open blue mana. Let's 
Let's see if he has a counter spell. I guess I'm assuming he does. If he doesn't, that's really good. Because he wasted two cards in this card that he is going to sacrifice anyway. <laughs> well, that went well. Let's keep on attacking. He's got nothing else to cast. Alright. Yeah, this is the one that I was talking about earlier. Or I guess on the previous episode when I was building this deck. wanted to abuse that omen of the sun. Now how do you do that? It has something to do with the core sky fisher and the aviary. Because if I don't have the quest for the holy relic, I'd rather return the omen instead. So we won. Alright, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoy this match. It's a throwback for both players. And we'll see you again in the next episode. For now, ciao.